What's happening, world? Happy Friday. Welcome to another episode of Cognac Confessionals. I'm your host, Deshaun, here at Where Media Meet Studios in conjunction with VJTV, Feral Films. Hey, what is do, y'all? Making entertainment, Keep It Cloudy Productions, you know? Uh, it's, uh, the Friday after uh, the day y'all celebrated the uh, annihilation of the Native Americans. <laughs> You know, all y'all had y'all turkey and y'all commemorative dinners celebrating the destruction of Aboriginal people. That's too deep for. No, I'm just saying. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, y'all. I don't know. I just can't do it. You know, I don't celebrate the destruction of no peoples. Can't do it. <laughs> um, no. Happy Friday. That was that's the gift and the curse of being being conscious of what's going on. It's a gift, but it's a curse too, because you can see mm-hmm. how things should be, and you look over and your, your people's is all you know loaded and blindly celebrating. Mm-hmm. So fuck it. I just let people that, enjoy things. Yeah, I, I, yeah. You know, I'm I'm to the point to where I, I you know. People be, oh, I just, I just time to be with your family, which I get it. That's true, you know. Mm-hmm. But that's yeah. also a moral failing too, because yeah. I was in Lake Charles, Louisiana, mm-hmm. and they had a gathering for me, mm-hmm. and I was like, man, you know, some of the fam, and I was like, man, the fam, I, you know, out in Cali, you know, we don't, we don't gather like this. Mm-hmm. And he said, then gather them. Exactly. It ain't got to be no special occasion. Yeah. Just hit everybody, man, and tell them just because, man. And, you know, and tell them, to put pressure on them if you got to. Like, hey, man, it ain't really optional for this, man. Come through. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you know. So I used to think of it like that. Like, well, you know, I'm just going to get together with the family. But, like, no, it ain't got to be genocide day. Because the people say, mm-hmm. you know. Let's 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 give a testimony to white supremacy and all gather in its honor and right. its enduring legacy. So you know, so that's been always been one of my goals. You know, to always just start just gathering the family just yeah. because. Right. And all of y'all out there, man, y'all, you know, man, don't let the pilgrims tell you that this is when to celebrate, how to celebrate this and that, man. If you miss your peoples, don't let the world and life get in the way. Exactly. Every get day. Get to your folks. Every day is every day. Yeah. You know, you can... you can. Boy, Cali, what's up? What's happening? Thank y'all for tuning in. What's up? Salute. Appreciate you for tuning in. Mm-hmm. You know, it's 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 interesting because <clears throat> the more we learn... Peaches, send me that video. Peaches, what's happening? Uh, you know, the more we learn about the true core of these yeah. holidays, yeah. you know, you really just got to understand what you're celebrating. I mean, like I said, everybody wants to do the, uh, we. I'm just going to use it for when I'm with my family. I get that. <clears throat> and I don't want to go too deep on it, you know, but right. at the same time, you still giving that energy to the well, celebration. We, we let them play in our face. Like, mm-hmm. for instance, I see a cat. I was, uh, what was that? Oh, I went to this thing where, uh, they had a debut downtown for that new series called uh, Hip Hop Homicides. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Shout out to P. Frank. And I slid through there and I had a, and I saw a cat in there and he was wearing I Am Not, I Am Not My Ancestor shirt. Mm-hmm. And all I could think was, you sure ain't. Because our ancestors went across that bridge in Selma. Mm-hmm. Our ancestors risked lynching and this and that. And we, Right now, with guns, the right. internet, with everything like that, we still let them people play in our face. Right. We you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we, definitely, real shit. we definitely not our ancestors. In fact, if somebody says you got to carry yourself with dignity and decorum and stand up and represent your race, yeah. cats get offended. Whoa, I, I can't be an individual or, or, yeah. or respect me. Like, you can't even say, hey, man, stand up and... Be accountable as a black man because you'll offend a whole bunch of cats. So yeah, that to the dude who's wearing that shirt, yes, you are correct. We are not our ancestors. Right. We is not <clears throat> made out of the same material. But they fought lost. to the fullest with whatever tools they had, and we supposedly have more tools and more knowledge now. And then people play in our face oh, just as hard. Yeah, harder. 
it's, it's subtle. What up, cousin? Man, nothing, man. Trying to slide out there to Texas and see what's happening with you. Going to Dallas in January. Okay, that's what's up. Shout out to Cuzzo. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's just a trip, you know, and to watch stuff and everything happens because, you know, we got, as always, y'all know it's been an interesting week, so we got a couple yeah, of things we're going to discuss, you know, we're going to talk about the Jerry Jones shit. Wow. Um... I want to touch on uh, whatever award show that was that canceled the Chris Brown performance. Yeah. Uh, and then they was trying to get us to cancel Kelly Rowland for saying the boy deserved a little bit of grace and mercy. See, that's what I'm saying. We're not canceling no fucking Kelly Rowland because she said as a Christian woman that she was going to extend some grace and mercy to that man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah, y'all got to change. Everybody that. make mistakes. And his mistake was 11 years ago. In fact, mm -hmm. even the victim says... I don't have a problem with him no more. Exactly. But but what happens is we we get in this when we get in. We in this this era of where well, yeah. we using and, and we need somebody else's acknowledgement for us to feel great. Right. And we use all their platforms and if we don't have our own but we don't support our own platforms that to uh, celebrate each other, and B, uh, BET yeah. Awards ain't even owned by black people no more, so yeah. they don't that don't count. Right. In my eyes, mm -hmm. in my eyes, it don't that shit don't count no more. Yeah. I'm sorry, it don't count no more. I'm just keep. I'm but just, when that's it was just black on man, cats treated it like gum on the shoe. Yeah, it you wasn't know, shit. Cats would show up, and fight, uh, mm -hmm. get on the microphone and be disrespectful, turn their back on the do all kinds of silly things. That you know you wouldn't do at the Grammys or the right. American Music Awards or the Oscars you know you or the, any of the, the Tonys, the, the no, none you, of them other no non melanated grand fact, you shows. Even, man, in fact, you don't even show up with your crew because cats are going someplace else. Fifty man authorized. They come there dolo because you ain't even gonna take a chance on him acting up. a fool up there. Exactly. You know? you know, and I mean, it's just it's sad. To me, you know, in this day and age, the, that man's ice is still colder. Yeah, you know, you know they that was that was acknowledging, celebrating Michael Jackson Thriller, the the, the greatest selling album of all time. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that performance should be seen, paying homage to Mike, the goat. Yeah, and you know, but here goes the thing, but Chris Brown like so many of. I was a teenager in the 80s, mm -hmm. and this is the trick and game that they used to play. They used to come through the hood, mm -hmm. and they'll snatch you up, everybody outside. Mm -hmm. And I might have dope on me, and you don't. Mm -hmm. So, but they'll, but they'll say that you knew I had dope, so they'll charge us both with possession. Yeah. Now we go in, say they snatch us on Friday. Well, Monday, when we go to see the judge, they'll say, if you plead guilty right now, mm -hmm. We'll give you time served and send you on to the house right now. What 18, 19 year old ain't gonna take that deal? Especially because mm -hmm. when they first arrest you, they say you're facing two years. So the man say, mm -hmm. we're gonna cut you loose right now. Right. Just the game they don't tell you. When you take that deal and you walk out that court, you're now a convicted felon. Right. And some cats that took these deals at 18, 19 is Not still no. unable to get jobs at 50. Mm hmm. Because and that's of the game. Mistake. And that's the game that they play on young black men that if we ever step out the line, we tarnish with that. Chris Brown had that incident 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. 11 years ago. This man was a 19 at that time. He's 30 something now and he's got kids. He's a completely different person. Right. And they still want us to whoop him. Knock it off, man. People yeah. grow and people change. But, but young black men. Mm -hmm. You are forever a convicted felon. You, forever. you are forever. And keep that in mind. If y'all got young folks in your life, mm -hmm. remind them that in this world we set up, even black people will yeah. not want to forgive you. Right. Even black people will act like you can't change, you can't grow. Right. You know? Exactly. People people want to sit there and um, keep you in your old self. Like, that ain't me no more. I was a caterpillar, but not a Big Rob, what's up, brother Hank? Is what's happening, bro? Exactly. That was a double. That was a double diss because they didn't want to honor Michael Jackson, 
and they wanted to slight Chris Brown. That's a double fuck you yeah. to two great performers. Chris Brown is a very talented man. Everybody black Young in the man. auditorium should have got up and walked out the door. Hey, but exactly. Back in now, back in the in the days when back in the Boy real Cox days was real. That was what happened. But everybody black society, should have walked out the door. But everybody else, oh man, I need my fifteen minutes to shine. I need to be on there. I, 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 I've been I've been practicing just as hard as he was. They didn't cancel my segment. Yeah. The, there's no unity. But then when you talk about some people who ain't who they are and whatnot, that group of people come together and stand solid like bowling balls, mm -hmm. and you you get canceled and all type of shit happen. Oh, but yeah. we don't do that. They don't play. We 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 splinter. Like bamboo shoots. Yeah. And we, uh, we, oh man, well, he did fuck up, man. He should have, like, like you said, that was 11 years ago. The man made a the mistake. The man that grew since then? Y'all don't think the man that grew? Because I know my mindset at 19 and my mindset at 30 was damn show sure different. Way different. I am not the same person yeah. I was as a youngster. Yeah, I'm not around the same dude while. I was five years ago. I'm not the same dude I was last year. You know, but, but apparently, but that's the penalty for us. Is that any time we go out against the grain, mm -hmm. we are forever tarred with that brush. It don't matter like the, what you do. It's the, like the, what was it, remember the old term they had with, the, with as far as the women, the scarlet letter shit. Like, yeah. he got the scarlet letter. You it's like, that's some bullshit. Man, people people change, people make mistakes, heat of the moment, whatever. I ain't, I ain't agreeing with the situation that happened when it happened. But I'm saying, you stuff happens, you grow you learn, you atone for your mm -hmm. mistakes as a man, as a woman, as a human. Mm -hmm. And that goes across color lines. You atone for, you know, the mistakes you made. Because a lot of us are only able to prosper now because we hanging on by the wing and the prayer of our ancestors, our grandmothers, big mama, uncles, daddies, and, and the prayers and things they put in the universe today, now. Yeah. I mean, there's if you the same person at twenty that you are at forty seven, you wasted you a lot spent of years. Twenty seven years in a vacuum seal, and that's sad. You gotta grow. I don't think it's possible to not grow, especially in this society. You know, and as, and as a person like himself who's traveled, he's been an entertainer. He's met all kinds of diverse people mm -hmm. and this and that. That. He would probably be even more evolved than the average person that go from nineteen to thirty. Right. You know, but you know, and and what and you know, like I said, they want to cancel Kelly Rowland too for saying that she was gonna pray for the boy and she was gonna have some great, she was gonna give him some grace and some empathy, mm. and that's how cold the game is. Mm -hmm. Is that they not only want to batter you, but if I say. Hey, hold on, man. The brother done, you know, the brother changed. Now it's off with my head, too. Right. It's like Come you on. acknowledge the growth in someone because, I mean, just like the other topic that most mm -hmm. people go, because we can use the we, we can the same two scenarios mm -hmm. that two of our topics tonight. It's like we talk about Chris Brown and his situation, and you got the Jerry Jones and and the picture from 1957 when he was in the... Uh, oh, but he grew since then. Exactly. He changed. And you got coon ass <laughs> Stephen A. Smith. I mean, that's another thing with us. We 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 don't defend us. We got... I'll, I'll call these coon ass motherfuckers gatekeepers. You know, Shaq, uh, Barkley, Stephen A. Smith. A lot of these people who we put in prominent positions because you look like me. And you know, like you said, with that uh, every I'm voting for everybody black. Nah, I'm not buying that shit. You know, what's the difference? Mm -hmm. So you got Jerry Jones, owner of a football team, the Cowgirls. You know, and in, in, in the picture, and from 1957 when they uh trying to uh, block integration of schools. Mm -hmm. He there. And I didn't see the full video, but uh, of his e explanation, he was, I don't remember why, uh, why I was there. It was some shit on that context. And 
but let that have been let that have been James Brown. The roll, let's roll reverse this shit. You know, let that have been James Brown in in in, in a uh, reverse situation. They would ostracize him like mm -hmm. they do. When Chris Brown has some, like we said, some shit eleven years ago, and I'll never condone violence on a woman. Never, no. never, 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 ever, ever. But at the same people who canceling Chris Brown's performance and want to, like you said, want to cancel Kelly Rowland, they rallying the wagons around Jerry Jones. Yeah. Because oh man, that That's was the back first then. I saw on Twitter. Boys He's will grown. be boys. He's grown. He's grown since then. Oh, you think his mindset is still the same? And I'm like, wow, not 48 hours or so earlier, Chris Brown was still being condemned for something that he did in the 2000s. What's up, Jason? What's happening? What's up, Lamar? Hey, Keisha, That's Keisha, wild. thank you for tuning in. That's why. Brother bro. Giddens, how you doing? In fact, Keisha and I were speaking about this the other day, about in regards to that people can grow and people can take accountability for their actions and grow yeah. past that. You have to. I mean, you have to atone for everything you do. Yes. And yet There's two ways. You do it while you're living, mm -hmm. but you also do it when, when, when it's that time. There's yeah. two times to do it. Yeah. You, the best way to do it is do it while you still got breath in your lungs. Make mm -hmm. atonement, make peace, and, and apologize and do the work that you need to do to make up and atone for whatever it was you did. As they say, do the work. Yeah, you got to do the work. True. There's no, uh, well, there is a get out of jail free card for some people. Mm -hmm. Not us, but, you know, there's, there's the forgive and forget. Yeah. mentality but it, it it fails to rub off on us mm -hmm. and that's just that's just some bullshit you know and it, it's the let me read air quote it's holiday season right now so you know everybody's sensitive right now too yeah you know and oh matter of fact I want to say uh, uh, condolences to everybody dealing with death pain yes. and any type of hurt right now because these holiday seasons Historically, have been it's, it's a time for depression because you got loved ones who ain't here. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be your first Thanksgiving, your first Christmas, your yeah. first whatever it is without mm -hmm. that significant loved one in your family, and it's a hard time for a lot of people right now. You True know, that. and mental health is real. True that. And real deep, and you know, and on my timeline, on my personal page, I know some people on my social media platforms, people who have lost their parents within the last week or so. Mm -hmm. My homegirl, you know, her father was just murdered on Thanksgiving. Yeah, you know, that's just, that's just like, that's, that's like, wow, wow, you know? Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, 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 you know, and like I said, uh, I'm tongue tied right now because I'm trying to think of what to say, but it's just my heartfelt condolences to all those uh, affected by mm -hmm. any loss or the or depression or anything y'all going through right now you know keep your head up uh there's always the sun will come out tomorrow and i know things are easier said than done because uh, it'll always be easier said than done and one thing i got to say in regards to a person who you know lost both of their parents mm -hmm. uh one thing i found myself with was is that you know we sometimes can't really open up this and that and I mm -hmm. found myself being surrounded by people that I didn't feel comfortable with saying hey you know what I'm fucked up right now right so any advice I can tell to anybody who's going through this or you got somebody you know somebody's going through this be someone that they feel like they was that they can be comfortable talking to and if you are yeah, that person real. going through it and you find yourself with a whole circle of people that you can't talk to Oh, then you need right. you need a new circle because yeah. you know like because I'd be like man they're gonna judge me they're gonna look at me as soft or they're gonna look at me as weak so right. I would be so I thugged it out for years when I really and sometimes I would the liquor kick in and I yeah. get involved in incidents mm -hmm. fights acting out doing certain things right. but really I just instead of being always saying oh I'm alright okay I'm fine instead yeah. of instead of having to say that. I just needed at least one person I could be like, man, I'm, man, I'm all fucked up right exactly. now. Exactly. And then especially you know? for
for you know us as I'm gonna call us black just for layman's terms, mm-hmm. uh, especially when it comes to black men, melanated men, we we're taught from adolescence, even preschool, suck it up, Buttercup. Boys don't cry. Men don't yeah, cry. Right. Uh, we don't. We're taught to keep everything in because if I come. As a youngster, if I come telling my homie, man, I'm I'm feeling depressed because this female, fuck wrong with this, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? She ain't uh, she ain't feeling me or something. We gonna get looked at as, oh, you hella soft, oh, you suck ass nigga or, or something. We, but, but that's why we have so many loose cannons running around here, ready to kill up a whole yeah. block because somebody hurt their feelings because it's a lifetime of, of rage and yeah. depression and anger. That's been bottled, and then suddenly he off pills. He mm-hmm. got a pistol, and Bing. and you cut him off at the gas pump. Exactly. Or you or you knocking down the chick that he like, mm-hmm. or you uh or you know he just don't feel like you gave him his proper respect. And yo, what's up? Mm-hmm. And now the bullets is flying, and everybody is sitting there like, wow. He, he was the tripping. violence went all over that. That was small. It ain't. It wasn't that. It's a wow. lifetime of holding it in and then not being back. able to be your true, authentic self. Because the, yeah. I think the fear of rejection. I'll call it that, for mm-hmm. lack of a better word. Right on, Big Rob. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, the fear of rejection of your authentic self. Yeah, is heavy. Yeah, because. You're figuring, I'm trying to be my authentic self and be vulnerable. You're scared to be vulnerable mm-hmm. yeah. because you're going to be ridiculed. And yeah. then, But everybody else get to be themselves. That's true, Lamar. Lamar just spoke a real word. Yeah. But it, yeah, it's, 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 it's the truth. And, and so so many cats are sitting there doing all this time right now up in the penitentiary. Yeah. And if they just was a little bit more emotionally healthy. Yes. They wouldn't be there. Or a lot of them is there either because of some senseless violence, but it wasn't senseless violence because there was a sense behind it. They had no other outlet, at least they felt that. Right. Then you got the other ones in there. Well, he in there because he used a bunch of drugs, isn't that? Well, drug use was just a symptom. The problem, the, the actual problem was he had a lifetime of problems. Right. And so much more emotional. If we could deal with the emotional and mental health in the community, it would ease so much of the the depression, the drug use, the violence, you know, a lot of that is all tied to, we got some really emotionally damaged brothers Mm -hmm. out there. We are are broken as a people, Mm -hmm. you know, it's, um, true peaches, it's a thin line. Very, very thin line, yeah. I mean, the thing about it, you got to be, and even as a man, men have a masculine energy, Mm -hmm. but you also have a feminine energy. And I don't mean in touch with your feminine side. I mean, I, like you have a I balance. don't mean you have a mother there's a balance. Exactly. You're not a beast. I don't mean no weird shit or whatever y'all might want to say or whatever you know the, that yes, the outside speeches. public calls it nowadays. But you have both, and you got to be in touch with both. Like I told you, I've always fed. Well, not always. When I learned to feed both wolves, mm-hmm. I mean, I feed both wolves in everything I do. But a lot of people don't. Good, bad. A lot of people don't even acknowledge hard, that there's both wolves. You have to feed both wolves because if you don't, the wolf that you, you don't balance. feed. The yin yang, right. whatever they call it. Hey, Lamar said it. A uh, pent up bottle will spill over. The wolf that you don't feed is going to get tired of not being fed and he's going to come snatch the food. Mm-hmm. And you know, what's that cat? It's a cat over in Brookfield. Mm-hmm. And he got a clothing line about emotional intelligence. Oh, you're talking about DB. Shout out to uh, brother DB, you know emotional saying? intelligence. Man, DB that Bedford. thing should be. That is the, that the, brother. The is. mayor should the mayor should be sitting on there wearing that shirt because, like Peter just said, the emotional intelligence do need to be Oakland's thing. We need to bring more awareness. DB's to doing it. doing doing big things, and shout out to mm-hmm. DB. And I hollered at him a he while ago. Grassroots about getting on, and that's and and it's my fault for not. Mm-hmm. Uh, Retouching yeah. bases to get him, but yeah, I, I need to get yeah, him. Never worry, that's, that's a good brother. Yeah, never worry. Yeah. yeah, that's that's a very good, intelligent brother, and he his mm-hmm. his story from beginning to now change yeah. growth. Yeah. I, I salute that brother. And, and and matter of fact, uh, his son just signed with Fresno State baseball. Salute. Oh, that's big. 
You know what I'm saying? That's that's what's up. You know, that's big. He's that's, a bulldog. That's 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 just shows growth, change, prosperity. Willing to look yourself in the mirror and say, I might be the problem. Mm -hmm. Ego don't mean shit, but the self. What does they say? What is the ego? Well, that's the it. It. The it. Mm -hmm. But ego, we society. Ego has to die. Yeah, it does. Society channels the ego of of melanated men mm -hmm. to be on flash full full frontal mode of About a, everything a display. And if and if you not supporting your ego, emotional intelligence in the black man is the topic issue. Yeah, we 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 got a few things we just going in on. It's free flowing conversation. Y'all got something y'all want to add to it? Please do. Um. But yeah, society, whether it's social media, you look at the reality shows that everybody flock to and want to be on mm -hmm. to degrade yourselves, yeah. and you got to be extra violent or you ain't getting no camera time, and you get X amount of dollars per episode to be on, and if your storyline don't mix with some violence or something, or whatever you doing, just like uh, the one rapper and his chick that are always Little fighting face. each other and whatnot. You they know, that's going to end badly, man. That's going to end badly. But everybody flock to want to see shit like that, but where's the... The balance? Nah, not the balance. Just where's the the other side? I don't even want to call it balance because that's just some weird shit. But, I mean, it's a game because they know what they're doing. They playing the role to... Correct, Lamar. They play in the role to get everybody's attention because yeah. everybody wants to see a train wreck. When a lot of people go to... Yeah, but I hate to see them young people like that. And I, I know yeah. it's going to end. And I, yeah. They both got so much potential. And uh -huh. I just got a feeling, man, that thing going to end with one of them dead. Like my dad yeah, told me, it's chicken today, feathers tomorrow. You know, and I just, ha I just hate to see it. You know what I'm saying? But they both obviously... That man stood there and made her and had her beat up his mama and sister. And that's why I know I was like, okay, this we dude is really that. lost. That's just yeah. This you dude, you don't do nothing. I don't care. Really they both you two lost souls. But you know, I took a psychology class once, mm -hmm. and they wanted that was one of the things that you could put 30, 40 people in the room. Yeah. The two most damaged people will find each other. Mm -hmm. That's because they have psychology. a kindred. They have a kindred yeah. spirit. Yeah. And the thing about that, well, I will say, the potential of beauty that mm -hmm. can come out of that. Yeah is great mm -hmm. if it's if it's fostered right and and uh nurtured right mm -hmm. you can have two people who come from the worst of situations mm -hmm. growing up and yes because they they can relate to something that bond it's like man you was homeless oh your parents did this i can relate i know how you could feel that's the potential right and to reality? and and the thing about it is the vulnerable because mm -hmm. you're like man i went through all this too you went through it too so y'all can speak to each other on on a on a wavelength because y'all both been vulnerable to some shit. You like, well, shit, you've been here too. I've been here too. Let's rock. Mm -hmm. And yeah, of course, there's nowhere to go but up. Yeah, that's the beauty and the potential. But you get but lost in the sauce. But unfortunately, when them two people come together, even with the best of intentions, there's still that baggage. Mm -hmm. There's that emotional trauma that they still carry and then there's oftentimes a lack of structure like I'm gonna tell you about like mm -hmm. the famous Easy e mm -hmm. Easy e was rich but I had a partner that met him yeah and he was like for a rich dude easy shit is all fucked up he can't never get around to seeing his kids the way he wanted to. He driving, he getting pulled over because his tags were like this is a million dollar dude who forget to pay a tag. Like mm -hmm. he was like there was so much dysfunction and lack of structure in his life that if he hadn't had a bunch of people who loved him, mm -hmm. who was always fighting to keep him mm -hmm. in balance, they said his life probably would have ended disastrously way before that. And unfortunately, when damaged people meet each other. Since they both usually have a lack of structure, mm -hmm. they don't have, as Kenyell said, intestinal fortitude for the change. Mm -hmm. You want to change, but then to actually put in the work, kill the ego, mm -hmm. which you cl probably cling to, right. and then make the change is hard. And now you, instead of having two people who can support each other through this, you have two people who guarantee to destroy each other. Right. Because and it's just it's awful. And, and you like, look at the history 
even celebrity couples and um, the the conflict in the relationship that draws so much attention and headlines because everybody loves a scandal. Everybody loves mm -hmm. when when it's all bad. You know they cling and flock to this shit. You know we like watching drama. Yeah, you it's know entertaining. We, we can go we can go back to the to the sixties and whatnot. You had Ike and Tina Turner. You had mm -hmm. uh, you had so many different relationships in mu in entertainment that were toxic. We would call them yeah. toxic now, but everybody flocked to them and they loved it. They would call it passionate back then. Yeah, it oh, was they were passionate. really passionate oh, yeah, about each other. Passionate, they, damn. But it was like shit. If they had, if they had an outlet to really uh, open themselves up to mm -hmm. what was really going on, mm -hmm. and felt safe in a safe environment, a lot of things would be different. But like I said, mm -hmm. we, and I'm include myself when I say we, because if I'm outside, if you point a finger, you got three pointing back at yourself. Right. So I'm a, you know, I'm gonna use some decorum and intelligence to get this conversation. If we really just stop allowing one, what anybody else think of me, it's not my business. Right. You can think whatever you want. Now, if it don't affect my paper, the way I s sustain and support my family, if it's not interfering in the love I have for my household, the growth I'm trying to grow, my companies, if it's not, you can think whatever you want. That's your opinion. Mm -hmm. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Good, bad, or indifferent. I am a firm believer in that. You want to be, you want to think what you think? I, I don't, I try not to argue with people when it's their opinion because yeah. you have a right to feel however you want to feel. But what were the steps that it took you to grow to that? Watching, uh, really just watching all the disasters in that we're surrounded by daily mm -hmm. and um, having the point of where if you uh, allow like if, you, if, if there's a point in time where you living for the public opinion and the, you living for everybody else you're not mm -hmm. living for yourself right. so if you will uh live for the applaud mm -hmm. you will die for the silence yeah that's true because I was at a stage in life most of my life the majority of my life has been I always been on some I can't let shit go mm -hmm. even if it's a motherfucker that's beneath me that I should be like oh, yeah. oh that's that nigga it's easy to be that nigga talking about I always had to get get my lick back yeah. get that and sometimes I would go too far. Sometimes I mm -hmm. would blow shit up or damage relationships that could have been valuable to me because Ego. I ain't letting shit go. Ain't Ego. no nigga can't cross me. Nobody gonna disrespect me. And it took me a lifetime of sitting in sales, losing opportunities, mm -hmm. losing money, blowing up relationships and all that to finally wake up one day and be like, Fuck what they talking about. Only thing that's important is what that. But, and I see so many other brothers in the same boat as me, and they even more extreme mm -hmm. with it. And I'd be like, wow, man. So whatever tips, man, you can give a cast the man to grow to this. I know how yeah. I grew to it. Yeah. Just simply with time and suddenly be coming around, around a better, a better, better class of brother. Yes, that's um, that's one of the and, things I did. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? And being around people that I ended up respecting to the point that they'd be like, P, you tripping, man, let that shit go. That shit is yeah. petty. And I'd be like, oh, okay. You yeah. know, let me calm down. You know, so, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, but so many of y'all out there, and even if it's not out there, if it's not you, I know you know somebody who's damn near willing to blow up the whole building. Because mm -hmm. somebody didn't park in, somebody parked in his parking space or whatever, you know. Yeah. And you know this my spot. Nigga must think I'm some type of mark or something. Yeah. And then it just go from there. Exactly. Little shit, shit that don't matter. And they and can't even say, 
Blood, my bad. Nah, fuck that. You, you disrespect me. You, 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 you instead of doing your heads up to nine when you saw me, you head down. That's some slighted. I was we, on 85th one time with a, a particular cat with a little name in the town. He rode uh -huh. by with his boat on the back of his SUV. Uh -huh. And a couple of cats said, Oh, you see, he didn't even look over. That nigga trying to high side. And now cats really ended up with a certain yeah. level of animosity. They hard starting to talk, call it other cats. Talk because you mad, and I'm like, man, this man whipping down a narrow street with a big ass boat. No, yeah. he didn't stop and say, What's up? Exactly. He didn't even look, but cats took it as. Disrespect. And they were really side. on some, oh, next time I see him, I'm finna get at him. Right. It's like, for what? And he would have been on some, what the fuck wrong with y'all? <laughs> exactly. Well, guys was really pumping it up. But that's just how I go, man, in, 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 in these type of urban environments, man. You it's just be minding your business and can't take offense to something that you ain't even know that you offend them, and they damn near ready to shoot your car up. Yeah. Break oh, your windows man, out. Acting funny. He moving Jumping, funny now. Jump you and this and that. Don't fuck with your boy no more. And you don't even realize what the fuck is these niggas talking about. The thing, the thing about it, you look at everybody, and for me, back speeches. Um, one of the things I've, Pressure. I've had, I've always had a nucleus of solid people mm -hmm. in my, in my family, mm -hmm. in my surroundings, and even when I was, thought I knew it all. Mm -hmm. Whatever and chose to do different shit when I was younger. I still had that shit in the back of my head, and even in different situations, I'd be like, "Hey, y'all, we wildin'. Yeah, we need to chill." Now, this nucleus was they family members or just people from around it? All both, Con a, a, a conjunction of it all. Mm -hmm. And the more you 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 watch people, and especially and you deal with highly respected individuals, mm -hmm. whether it's in the lane that. We all both wolves. Mm -hmm. I've 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 I was raised by some solid individuals, right? Well respected, mm -hmm. family ties, and and mm -hmm. the areas I grew up in, mm -hmm. who didn't mind saying, "Hey, bro, this is how you do X Y Z." Mm -hmm. You know, whether it was my dad, my uncles, mm -hmm. my dad's friends, who are my uncles. Yeah. Uh, my mom's friends, my grandmothers, my uncles, my people in the areas I grew up in who was uh, really about that life of mm -hmm. handling business. And mm -hmm. I'm not saying good, bad, or indifferent. I just mean in all terms of it. Right. They didn't have a problem with telling us youngsters, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten years old growing up about how to do shit. Mm hmm but the thing is, you got to be able to listen, right? And you got to receive. Mm -hmm. So I unfortunately grew up in a family that it was seemed like a gift on the surface. Mm -hmm. It was all majority working men. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing: working men who had a whole bunch of women who was busy yeah. with their careers, mm -hmm. they didn't fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? In fact, you know, my daddy wasn't around, so you know. But when I would try to gravitate towards them, it would be. Nigga, ain't your daddy? Hold on, nigga. I got a date, nigga. No, I ain't coming to your game, nigga. I got something to do. And that's whatever. Shit is, but now, guess what? Who did have time for me though? Mm -hmm. Niggas that was mm -hmm. in traffic. Yeah. And that's how, like, how my family was all working me, but I ended up in the streets. And niggas looking yeah. at me like I was some type of anomaly. Well, no, that's the only niggas who had time for me. And unfortunately, it was the crack era. Mm -hmm. You know. So guess Easy what? I, guess what that's I was? Smart. I was uh, a runner. I yeah. was, you know, you needed. You know, the pump them crack empires, you need cats that's gonna get out there on them corners and get a blow on the And here go a, and here go a little skinny dude who needed who needed, needed, money. needed that no nah, more needed, so I needed, needed that shoes. male guidance. Right. I needed that structure. Because we all looking for acceptance. And so when they exactly so when they accepted, okay, you part of this, you part of the family. Oh shit, nigga, what you want what you need me to do? Hold the pistol, hold the dope, right. and keep my mouth shut if I get popped. Why mm -hmm. you sit there and get all the money? Yeah. Aye, aye, right, Captain. We do this for the block. <laughs> but, and, and you know, and that's the thing, and that's one of the things also, if you have young men in your life, or even young women, because, you know, if, they, if you don't give them the guidance and attention, they can really end up in bad fates. Spend right. some time. So if you got little cousins, you got nieces, you got nephews, or whatever, 
man, tap in with them. Even if Please. they be kind of like, okay, what's this coming from? But tap in with them. Get involved with them. Let them. The problem, get, you the know, thing help. Is, just help. Like yeah, that's the all, community. The community is need structure. Right. So be the what Kenya said. The intestinal fortitude. Yeah. So what they always say. Be the change yeah, that, that you, you want to see mm -hmm. in other people. Exactly, because I mean, it is, we all have family members who we feel doing too much. Yeah, we all have them. There, mm -hmm. There's not a family that doesn't have somebody that fits that criteria. Right. So we shouldn't one be acting like we don't have right. people in our family like that. We all do. Yes. The thing is, you just got to figure out and be patient. And yes. figure out how to reach them and figure out what their trauma is. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying everybody's a psychologist or right. whatever. And not everybody's savable. Yeah. That is true. Not but, everybody's but, savable. That is true. But, but you try. have to put some effort in try. and try. And 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 it, and the thing I will I agree with you, know that not everybody's savable, but also some of us aren't able to save them at the level they need to be saved. We need right. to find, and I'm not talking church when I say save, because yeah. Um, yeah, oh yeah, no, yeah. no, we're talking about yeah. save them from them from this. So you know, I, I don't want I don't want people thinking, oh man, he in there talking that uh, plus, sky daddy shit. Plus no. you, got, you know, plus um, you gotta yeah, and like you said, the trauma. You gotta understand the trauma because see, this is why a lot of people couldn't reach me because my mother had seven sons. Mm -hmm. Four of them didn't reach the age of, uh, uh, actually five of them didn't reach the age of, of 28. And one of them is on his 27th year in prison. Damn. And he got me. So, and I was like number six of seven. Mm -hmm. So, even though I appeared functional, you know what I always thought my fate was going to be. Yeah. I'm a part of this circle. So I'm destined yeah. to be do what this circle does. So thus, I never made no preparation. You couldn't really talk to me about the future because right. I didn't think there was going to be no future. Right, this is my destiny. In fact, when I did turn 25, I was sitting there like, is this when the bullet going to hit me? Right. You know, when I hit 30, I'm like, okay, I'm on borrowed time. Dang. So people are like, oh, you need to get your life together, start getting the pension, start doing this. Well... But don't, nobody ever asked me why I would do the things I would do. The reason why I thought things do this is because I ain't finna live to see none of that right. shit. So it it don't matter. And mm -hmm. like you, and that's what goes right in the key with what you said when reaching the person on the level of their trauma. And I never had nobody who tried to be like, okay, I understand you. I see the shit you're doing. Right. Why do you do this? Because it took me a long time to admit, like, well, I think I turned 40 before I admitted, like, well, I didn't really make no preparation for the future because deep in my heart, I didn't think I was going to live right. to see no no, no future. And because also, on top of that, yeah. society prepares us yeah. for that mindset. Yeah. That everything gears towards, hey, live fast, die young. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing... I'm not gonna say nothing. Out of seven of us, there's, there's only two of us living, and one of them is so only many, living because, like I said, he'd been in prison for decades. Yeah, there's there's not many resources. Yeah. I'm not gonna say there's not many because yeah. there are many. It's just they're not widely known or exposed right. to yeah. avenues to explore um, ways to elevate yourself, whether it's your mental, mm -hmm. your physical, your whatever. But we're so quick to, because we're like Pavlov's dog theory. You see a shiny coin, and we that's our attention span. Yeah. Most people have the attention span of a gnat's ass. Yeah. And then the people who do come to try to save you, they got good intentions, but their message used to be, do better, nigga! And, and, and <laughs> right, and to, to piggyback off that, a lot of things, what happens with uh, people who become aware or see things, they have this uh, coat of, and I'm not saying all, they have this kind of coat of condescending uh, arrogance about themselves. And I'm using arrogance. You need to wake up. Because they like, I woke up, nigga, you should wake up too. Yeah. You can't you can't respond to people like that. Our alarm clocks are set at different times. Very different. Because 
I can I can become knowledgeable at forty seven, mm -hmm. and you can become knowledgeable at sixty five. But you you at sixty five could be go way further than me because it happens when it's supposed to happen for you. Right. I can't. I can. What happens is like you said earlier with empathy. There's a lack of empathy in the world. Mm -hmm. A very strong lack of empathy. Yeah. Everybody wants to be in and down for the cause as long as it makes them look good. Everybody wants to, oh, I'm doing this for this uh, downtrodden people or whatever because yeah. it's giving me likes, clicks, and this and this. But the genuineness of the work, because it all starts with you got to do the work. Um, you have to do the work. Um, again, you got to do the work. And it doesn't need to be cameras, lights, and... and uh, video opportunities mm -hmm. when you do the work for you to feel like hey y'all y'all see me put in this work now i'm good y'all should be y'all should put me on this level now and unfortunately society like has us in this realm of thinking to where we crave likes instead of real decent yeah. uh moral uh dignity yeah all those pats on, pats on here was it the dopamine the dopamine rush and one thing, like what you said about lack of empathy, and that's really magnified in the ghetto, is that and some of us grow up in such non-empathetic environments that mm -hmm. that the hardness that we display is really a trauma response. Because when I was a kid, and you said big dude beating up a little dude, somebody will say, little nigga must have been talking shit. Yeah. Whereas... Really, the big dude was just taking advantage of the fact that he's bigger, or you know, nigga. So you grow up in a situation where you can, and that's part of the reason why we can't never open up or be vulnerable, because you grow up and you learn quick. Yeah. You can't never, under any circumstances, allow yourself to be the victim because nobody, Cares not even victim. your own family, Unless you get you your ass people. whooped, and your grandma be like, must have been out there talking shit, and they done whooped your ass. Mm -hmm. Nobody, even Did the people who should back? be nurturing you, the people who should be loving you, mm -hmm. no one has any sympathy for a victim. So we learn early to That's never be vulnerable, this and that. World. And so when we can't open up, when we can't let these repressed feelings out, that's simply a trauma response to the lack of empathy. And then I don't be too mad at them old folks and this and mm -hmm. that because they grew up under circumstances where you can't let a motherfucker see you falter. Yeah. So, and that goes on generation Never let them generation. see you sweat. And then we end up with a bunch of people who ready to shoot up the side show or mm -hmm. shoot up this or do that or this and that or she don't love me, I'm going to yeah. kill the bitch. It, or she oh, want to fuck with me. You know, we grew up with an era of that them is. because... That's the resolution of people who... And let me just speak on that. It's, and this is male or female. Listen to me, y'all. There's over 7 billion people <laughs> on this planet. So you can live without her. You was born by yourself. <laughs> you gonna die by yourself. Unfortunately. <laughs> I, I, I understand. And at one time, hey, and there's nothing wrong with crying in the car. Mm -hmm. If you need to. And then go drive that the car to someplace it. else to kick it. <laughs> hey, go cry in the car. And if you got a friend that you can really open up to and that understands that, dude, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really feeling down, you know, right about now. And yeah. because of this situation, like I was a teenager, I, and I'd share this with y'all. I was a teenager, I was probably 17, and I was in a, a relationship ended, and I was, you know, depressed about the shit. And I got at one of my folks, the real, and he was like, what's up? I'm like, dude, I told him how I was feeling. Because, but that's the relationship we have. I have, I've, since I was younger, I've had this certain relationship with some people where I can ex and go there with that's them. That's a blessing. And, you know, without shame, without feeling, oh, nigga, you going, nigga, you, nigga, you tripping. Now, if I am tripping, tell me I'm tripping. Mm -hmm. But it's a way you could tell me, like, oh, bro, nah, this is, but he was just like, man. Dude, just ignore the bitch. And now I'm just giving you word for word what he told me. Like I said, this 16, 17-year-old Deshaun. Mm -hmm. You know, youngster. And I was I was hyphy then and I had I I had chicks mm -hmm. back then. Mm -hmm. But it was one I was just like, man. And he was like, dude, just ignore. Her. Watch. And and I did that and man. Mm -hmm. He was like, cousin, dude, just ignore. Her. Don't don't even none of that. Dude, just ignore. Her. And I said, you know something? 
all right. And I did, and it, it tables turned. But then I was like, nah, I'm cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we all have, all humans. But you were thankful to have that resource. I was, yeah. To give you all humans have, no matter how hard you think you are, mm -hmm. a lot of people have a fear of rejection. Yeah. We're not made out of steel. No, yeah, we're not, yeah. no. We not, and and that fear of rejection is why some of us don't aspire to more. Mm -hmm. Don't take promotions at the job. Yeah. Don't start that business. Scared don't of that do certain things that could really make a difference in their circumstances in their life. Because what if it don't work? Right. And that what if? What if people don't choose? See, it's easy to say, "Man, I'm about to. I'm fin to." Right. Mm -hmm. But. Well, if I actually do that and it don't work, right? What then? It's, it's and that fear of rejection, fear of success, living. all those type of things are intertwined. Right. That you know, and I had somebody say, "Man, if I get to eat, man, niggas gonna hate, man, whoop de whoop, man." I don't even want to even just I had that person. I'm sitting there like, so you're not gonna take this opportunity to eat it's because gross. imagine because niggas that you willfully surround yourself with mm -hmm. is not gonna be happy with you. And I'm sitting there, but I had to speak to him in a, in in a, a certain way. way. But in my mind, I'm sitting there like, nigga, you sound crazy as fuck. Right. First off, fuck him, nigga. Get the fuck away from him. If, if you already know that niggas going to have a problem with you being successful, then damn, you, sound, be, you sound you sound bananas be in of, you know, but, but that go into that fear of rejection. That fear right. of that. I gotta what be if the world don't fuck with me no more. But what if I damn successful and my people's over here don't fuck, fuck with me no more? What about that? And that shit will really fuck and here go the whopper. When you in the midst of it, it's hard to recognize it. Mm -hmm. But you gotta understand when you get to talk about they and them and this and that, and you damn near making up a motherfucker in your head to hate Scenario? on you. Yeah, that's your internalized. That's your internalized fear. Right. You gotta stop and you gotta as Ken Yell say, you gotta have the intestinal fortitude to put in the work says to work on yourself mm -hmm. and the and then the results will be so much better. And Ken Yell is absolutely correct. Peaches, when are you getting your ass up here? But intestinal fortitude ain't something that you know you can get off of Amazon. No, oh, it gotta be in you, can't be on you. you. Know and you can build it. Yes, that's the thing. Very much, that's why you can I was be built. You can it build can it built. because that's that's another thing. Yeah, we, I'm a, you know, we we have all these cliches and and terms mm -hmm. that we throw on ourselves. It got to be in you. It can't be on you. But there's I, truth to some. Of there it. is truth. Mm -hmm. But what I will say, what happens is people get to thought process that that's an absolute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can there be in no. you. There are no absolutes. There are no absolutes. Only a Sith believes in absolutes. <laughs> it's in you. True. Yeah. You just have to learn to nurture it and grow it because... But trust me, it's in you. It yeah. is in you. It's already in you. There's a teacher who said something good to you. Okay. There's a grandmother who said something to you. Everybody in, within all of us right now, everything you need to be successful it's already in you. We just sometimes are so clouded in the day to day that we don't yes. see it in ourselves or we don't know the routes in order to be able to tap into it. Yes. But when I tell you, believe me when I tell you, you already have what you need. It's yeah. already in you. You just got to tap into it. And that's where the courage comes in. True. You got to have the courage because sometimes when you tap into it, you might got to get rid of so-and-so mm -hmm. who's been your partner forever. You might have to kill your ego. You yes. might have to acknowledge that these certain things you aren't doing to the best of your ability yes. and you need to step up your game when you already thought, even though the, the people on the Instagram was, mm -hmm. was liking and mm -hmm. applauding you, you, you might have to really go hard. Yeah. And these other things that you're doing that you enjoy doing but are actually detrimental to you, you have to let them go. And mm -hmm. you might have to cut off that cut off that, that cousin cut off or cut off that partner. So that's where the courage comes in. You might have to do some things, but it's already in you. Even deeper. Yeah. You gotta be real with yourself. <laughs> yes, yeah, so they don't sell backbones at Walmart. <laughs> no, nah, they ain't got them there. But you gotta be real with yourself because mm -hmm. remember we always say uh, a broke man can only play rich for so long. Yeah. A rich man can play broke forever. Yeah. Exactly. Same thing. Exactly. Same thing. 
Because you can a be fool sitting can here. Only play wise for so long. So long. A but wise a man can play a dummy. Infinity. Yeah. And when you had them true mirror, 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 he head up conversations with yourself, mm -hmm. and go be up beyond the surface, because most people only deal with surface level shit. Mm -hmm. The scratch on the skin to where you can see the ash if you scratch yourself and you see that. Mm -hmm. That's the most, what most people only deal with that. They don't mm -hmm. go to the inner core, get past the rib cage and get in there and deal with what's really with yeah, themselves elbows. and really hold themselves accountable. Because, yeah, now lick your thumb and wipe your elbow. They don't want to do that, you know. Peaches say she'll be here on the 16th. I, I, we got you. She on vacation. Okay. 16th to the 3rd. We got you. All right, what's happening, bro, bro? Uh, happy holidays and all that good stuff. You know, I don't celebrate. You don't celebrate. We don't celebrate holidays, bro. I know. But you know what I'm just saying. It's just a term of endearment. I got to stop saying that. But anyway, love you, bro. Um, we got to hold ourselves accountable. You got to be honest with yourself because you can lie to everybody else. But when you lie to yourself... That's the deadly sin, mm -hmm. lying to yourself. You can, you can, for shits and giggles, tell everybody all this shit. Oh, man, I got this, that. I got this going on, this and that. And I'm, yeah, I'm finna be the man to man. I'm finna, yeah, motherfuckers ain't living like me. Mm -hmm. and yeah, but when you start believing your own lies and your own press clippings, <laughs> that's hell on earth. Yeah. It really is. Did it freeze? Mm, let's go. Oh, that's but, just so. You know, we we sitting here philosophizing and giving y'all this ism, as always. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to switch gears a half a sec because you got some uh projects coming up. Oh yeah, that so, we want to talk about before we get up out of here. So what we doing right here at the studio, right here where Media Meets, we having a casting call December third. Which is uh, actually next Saturday. What's up, look? And uh, next Saturday we have the casting call, and what we're doing is is that we're doing another sci-fi film. As you know, as a lot of y'all know, uh, you know we did uh, My Sister's Keeper, which mm -hmm. is uh, a black sci-fi film, and it really was in black in you know colloquial terms. Mm -hmm. It was uh, been really successful, and right now it's available on Tubi and Roku, and about. 28 different streaming platforms and so Support and that one was kind of like from a, a, a woman perspective it was about three sisters and now we're doing uh, another sci-fi film from uh, from the black man's perspective think mm -hmm. Donald Goins meets Spielberg no, that's no. all I can get y'all and so hey if you if you want to act you know, at us. you know what I'm saying you know get at us and come on down, man, and come be a part of this thing. It's going to be epic. You know what I'm saying? That's what we got going on. We're trying to, um, just like how we started in the middle, I mean, excuse me, the beginning of the show, talking about supporting our own mm -hmm. projects and whatnot. But y'all, you know, everybody run out to go support all this other stuff yes. with people who don't give two fucks about you. Man, but if, nobody if supports fire, they'll be like, grassroots fire. projects and shit. But then... If at the end of the day, you know, we become nine figures, because we already touching a lot, but mm -hmm. we go nine and ten figures, then everybody going to be like, I was fucking with y'all since the beginning. <laughs> sure you was. Cousin Lucky and all that shit. But mm -hmm. when we out here trying to make stuff happen, grassroots early now, mm -hmm. that's when the support and, and things are, are paramount. Yes. I mean, it's just going to happen. And we're not stupid. We know the difference between mm -hmm. you staying close to us to leech on if we blow up and you actually being here to support us. For real, though. Yeah. I know all my family members. Even the ones I don't know, yeah. I know. Thanks to Ancestry.com, I even know them once. <laughs> and a motherfucker. But, you know, it's like even with this, you know, uh, I, I appreciate everybody who tunes in. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the viewers, you know, end up tuning in after like all oh, y'all. I humbly uh, respect and applaud yes. y'all for tuning in faithfully. And if I, you got you a know, business or you got something cracking, holler come on down and let's talk about it. Exactly. We open. You know what I'm saying? We, we are not. There's no politics involved. We just like, man, you got something going on. You want to come be a guest on the show? To sit here and just chop, chop it up, whatever we got going on, mm -hmm. or whatever, holla. If we can make it happen, we will make it happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying everything is instant, but uh, 
that's just that's just us because I'm all about intelligence, us. emotional intelligence, and structure in the community was the topics. Keish, you need to be on here too. Yeah, most definitely. for months. Cause we've been yeah, we going we gon' hey, for, especially for matter of fact, hold on, pour pour one because it's Sagittarius season. I just want to get ready to do for the Sagittarius. For the, it's my season right now. It's Sagittarius season, y'all. Y'all know what's up. I uh, hey, you been busy. I, ain't nothing wrong with being busy, sis. Nuts to the sad life. To the you know sad. what I'm saying? And my daughter's birthday yesterday. I became a parent 24 years ago yesterday. That's for the nice first time. time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'll drink to that. Hey, a Sagittarius having a Sagittarius for their first kid. Man, that's the ultimate motherfucking gift. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and now that ain't ego, that ain't cocky. Jamari, what's up, cuz? Oh! All right, yeah, but, uh, yeah, we, we, uh, Bart B's in the building. Bart B's, what's happening? You know, but yeah, we we just uh, we got to do better, people. We got to uh, extend a hand, a word, um, share share your thought process with people. Ah, uh -uh, Slim P in the house. Slim, what's up, bro, bro? You on the okay? For sure. We got you. I got you, P. It's all good. Um, I just want us to to prosper. And really uh, get the cobwebs and this uh, unwoke, lost mm -hmm. bullshit that we've been on forever. You know, ever, 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 ever. Mm -hmm. I really want us to really uh, get out of that and, and go further with each other. We got to start mm -hmm. liking, loving, and talking to each other and building each other up. And, and be able to... Um, address and correct each other emotionally, correctly, intelligently, mm -hmm. because nobody wants to be told you're an asshole by just saying, oh, no, you're an asshole. Mm -hmm. No, you got to learn how to communicate yeah. with somebody to say, hey, maybe the way you're thinking of this is, and the way you're responding to this trigger mm -hmm. is wrong. We need to learn to do that with each other, and we got to have some love, some empathy, yes. some compassion. Um... And don't forget, sometimes some people, when they're being assholes, it's not that they're being an asshole. That's just a symptom of something that's going on with them. Right. And maybe they're not ready for you to dive in at that moment. Oh, Keisha, you want to go talk about the elections? I'm over that shit. Well, <laughs> yeah. You come on, we can talk about the elections. I'm over that shit. Yes, indeed. Uh, I'm just hoping for the best at this point. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's Friday. It's uh, it's a uh, hey. Matter of fact, hey, save your fucking money, y'all. Running out doing this Black Friday sales once again. That word black, uh, yeah, y'all going and you ain't saving money. Uh, that's, <laughs> yeah. See, I, I'm, I put a couple lost leaders in the into the store. To, anyway, we know how to. Hey, get right, it. Ivory. Yes, emotional intelligence was called maturity. Exactly. You got to be smart. What's Lucky. up, Luck? Pip, play, my boy, my guy. Um, but, uh, I want to wish all y'all, uh, safe Friday. Hey, y'all. Be and safe on this week, and, you know. Be the, safe. Yes. Highway Patrol done stepped it up. They got DUI checkpoints out and everything like that. You got So it. just be safe. Be cautious. And also, between that, you also got the emotionally damaged people who mm -hmm. figure there's no way to come up than by stepping on somebody's neck. Yeah. So to you sisters out there, when you're going out shopping, anytime you out, please be aware of your surroundings. Stop I mean, some gas, anything uh, like that. Watch everything. You in the Uber, get before you get in. Look at, make sure the child lock ain't on in the back. Yeah. It's a lot of things going on in this world, and unfortunately, the downtrodden use this time of year mm -hmm. to come up on those who yeah. are fortunate. Yes. So please don't be a victim, but unfortunately there will always be a victim. But one thing don't I was taught, you. yeah, don't let it be you. Crime only happens when there's opportunity. So please be so mindful of what you're doing. Uh, don't be out doing too much. Mm -hmm. I'm not telling you not to celebrate yourself, your yeah. opportunities, your your uh, your growth or whatever. Celebrate it. Yeah. But please be mindful in situations of where you are or Do what you're doing. Because at the end of the day, your family needs you, and you need you. Mm -hmm. And I need you. I because need all to be okay. something happens. You're not replaceable. 
nobody's replaceable. I don't care if you got life insurance, this and All that. that you can replace you. You're not replaceable. You're not. You're not. Even though in some uh, instances, and Beyonce got that song, you're irreplaceable. Yeah, in some of those circumstances, yeah, anybody can be replaced in that sense. But at the end of the day, you're here for a reason. Uh, I hope you learn what that reason is. Remember why the, the moment and the reason why you chose to be born again. That's something you'll get at 3 in the morning. But uh, Peace out to Jerry Law. Yeah, my guy. We got to get you back up here again, man. Uh, shout out to Jerry, shout out to Whiteout, shout out to Mario Hodge, shout out to my man Jay Rich, mm -hmm. shout out to uh, DJ Igor Beats, uh, yeah. uh, shout out to Hooker Boy Films, shout out, just shout out to everybody, y'all. And mm -hmm. if I ever, if I don't say your name, hey, shout don't charge it too. to my heart, charge it to my mind because hey, I'm sipping a little bit. No, I ain't drunk, but hey, I got a lot going on, and sometimes I forget shit. I'm human. And rest in peace to my cousin Biagi, as always. It's Sagittarius season, man. Y'all go have fun tonight. Do what you do. But be safe. Be mindful. And if you can make somebody's Ill, uh, somebody else's day better, do so. You ain't nothing wrong with that. Now it's time to say goodbye to all, all my Negro friends. friends. Hey, man. Hey, hug a Sagittarius. We make the world go round. <laughs>